What's going on? It's Roger. Here's a, a book that I kind of wanted to share. Uh, a Guide to Pediatric Cardiovascular Physical Examination or How to Survive an Outreach Clinic by Dr. Colin Foon. Uh, when I went to the pediatric department for my internship, one of the doctors I met was Dr. Stanger. And he's an old school doctor that likes to listen to heart sounds with a stethoscope and he got to the point where uh, he can diagnose a lot of things by just listening and you know nowadays um, we rely on technology but back in the days when I guess when he was practicing and when he learned and, and whatnot it was really the gold standard was to listen to heart heart sounds and and diagnose from there but um, the times that I've uh, worked with him Amazing, you know. Uh, he knew pressures and and whatnot of the of of the heart, and just you know, he would he would say, I, "This is what I heard. This is what I believe." And when you do the echo, tell me what you see. And it usually uh, came out to be the same. It was pretty amazing. Um, Dr. Colin Foon uh, studied at UCSF, and you can see right here in his preface. He mentions Paul Stanger right there in the middle of the page. Um, uh, this book is really about, um, it says, the physical examination, where you go in there, start talking to the patient, and take their blood pressure, and see if there's any differences, and listen for heart sounds and and whatnot. And this, I thought this page was really interesting. <clears throat> And it tells you where to listen to and what to expect, what abnormality you can possibly hear in those areas the strongest. Um, as an echo tech or even an EKG tech, you don't really do auscultation, which is listening to heart sounds. But I always think it's a good idea to understand it at least. And so now I start to I pull up my stethoscope and just give a quick listen. Uh, I probably won't get to the level of the doctors where I can actually diagnose things, but I think it's just a good idea just to just to see if I can hear something different than the the normal lub dub sound. <clears throat> Anyways, the book starts going into lesions and diseases, and even some of the repairs and what you can kind of expect uh, to hear. And then in the back part it start he starts covering cases where he'd give you a scenario and then he would give you ask you some questions and then he would tell you the diagnosis of course um, this is really for a doctor but like I said nonetheless it's <clears throat> the more you understand of what's going on um, with a patient I think it's the be it's better and you can probably correlate it into uh, which what you hear, I mean, what you see compared to what they hear. So, like I said, it's, just, it's a good idea just to expand on it. But you can find this book on Amazon for like about 10 bucks, I believe. But not bad. Um, a really good read and gives you a better understanding of um, auscultation. Uh, definitely worth it, I believe. So, if you like listening to heart sounds, there you go.